Last time on The Space Between, we flew down to the BVIs for a fun-filled week renting a PowerCat 52 from the moorings, only to find out that it wasn't ready when we got there, caught on fire that night, swapped boats the next day while on the ball, and it caught on fire again. As we were leaving the anchorage the next morning, found out we had no steering, only to return to the moorings once again to have it fixed. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is The Space Between. Every single day, cause I love my occupation. Illuminate my future, bright, so thankful for everything. Rejuvenating my inner light as I work hard for all I need. Open arms, embrace the life, and all the way you gave me. I work it pays off, I'm happy now, it's paying me. Do the shit and love it on a day and leave. Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave. Never leave, but that ain't gonna be me, that ain't gonna be me. My brother called me, I said he saw me on TV. So that first night we anchored in the bite, we went to go eat over at Pirate's Bite. He had that whole Marilyn Monroe fucking dress up thing going on in there. What did I tell you? Hey, what did I tell you? Here, let me film your, your dress. Herding cats, it's kind of my thing. Got it. Stop. You gotta turn, turn like you were. They're dressed up. You're, you got to turn like you were. Your dress was yeah, blowing. Yeah, put the perfect. safety on, sir. Uh, safety. Excuse me, okay, sir. Sorry. Okay, safety. I only brought one on this what? trip. I got you. Got a drink. We're good. We go. Hey, we got a drink. We got you a drink. We got me a drink. We're good. Get out of the way. Please, be safety, Laura, before you drop it. Who the heck said safety last? Ooh. No, safety, no, safety third. 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 Beer second, safety third. Yeah. Fun first. Sex yeah. first. Always fun. Beer second, safety third. The priorities of this group are very good, but I still say safety first. You got it. The full moon is behind you. Right. No, turn around. Turn this way. Oh, give me your back. Oh, there we go. Hair. Yeah. Turn. Oh yeah. Oh, Scott's yeah. gonna. Yeah, have to do that. It doesn't have. I, I can't even see the moon in the camera. No, but I can see Lon. Lon, yeah. weird guy. Yeah. Weird guy. Scott, camera. turn it that way. So we oh, right. see weird guy. It's camera. a stop, man. Here, Relax. if you want me to do it, hold on a minute. There you go. There you go. There you go. Weird guy in a camera. There you go. Put this shit. Yeah. There you go. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Oh. Now we're going back oh, the right direction. We can get, all right. Yeah, look pretty. Yeah, look pretty with the. I can't even. I can't even see the moon in your tail. Isn't that beautiful? Free bottle, bitches. Day two in the beautiful British Virgin Islands. Boat two in the beautiful British Virgin Islands. And you know where we're headed? Back to the mornings to get boat three. But we know how that got handled. Four hours later, the boat was fixed, and we were on our way. But we're not going to rehash all that. Let's get back to the fun stuff. So after leaving the moorings, we decided to head over to Peter Island, but then we read it was a little hoity-toity. So we jumped on over to Cooper instead. Now, Cooper Island has some great snorkeling down around Cistern Point, but we were headed over to Cooper Island Beach Club. Yes. So if you think you're starting to see a trend here of drinking and eating, you might not be wrong. The Cooper Island Beach Club, though, has awesome food, not bad prices, wonderful people, and man, the view is breathtaking. So while we were eating lunch, Randy says, I think you need to come look at the boat. I think it's dragging. And sure enough, the winds had come up, and we were anchored around Hideaway and ended up over by Cistern. While I treaded water with the boat, Whipple took the dinghy and went over and picked up the rest of the crew at shore. It really didn't look like this, though. Now that the crew was back on board and amply fed, it was time to head to the baths. This national park with its huge boulders and flat top rocks form these beautiful pools and grottos that are great to explore. Now you have to grab one of their mooring balls outside and then dinghy up to the perimeter and swim in from there. Now this can prove difficult as you have a drink in one hand and a camera in another. Man, if I knew there was a bar here, it was sure would have saved me a lot. You're fixing to get real busy. Ready? And with the help of friends, we made it up, around, and through. All the cool grottos. You, you and Charlie, 
Oh, Perry, that's where that you were to come in at. And I think we were all really thankful they put arrows and signs to navigate the way through. So we are in the grotto at uh, the Bass. Super cool place. Really liking it here. I'm not quite sure what kind of Instagram masterpiece making instance we walked in upon here. It's strawberry shortcakes, bitch you alter ego fix that come out. Sweet love. All right, we're ready. <laughs> 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 Whoa. That was a reenactment. Slow-mo. A slow-mo reenactment. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there was a lot. Makes a lot more sense now. Oh, how cool. Where are me? Uh -huh. Oh, he's got one, he's got one. Shot it later. Okay. So one of us is checking out the beautiful view. One of us is not. The bass truly are an amazing place. We hung out here for hours, drinking, talking, and exploring, and just having a great time enjoying the baths. As the wind started to pick up, it was time to find a calm anchorage for the night. So we shot across the channel over to Marina K, just next to Beef Island. Third day. Uh, day two away from the dock. Day two away from the dock. Went find our first meal on the boat, and we were going to light the grill. And apparently they're electric. So, hubby went to start the generator, and nothing. And so I called my magic phone and no answer. So, looks like we're starving. If you're gonna be working on a generator, it might as well be here. I mean, granted, you shouldn't have to be working on a generator, but why you read with the space between? Because that would be Scott right there doing it all for you. All you have to do is worry about having fun and relaxing. Meanwhile, while the rest of the men are fixing your boat, Whipple, you're partying up with the girls. Yeah, That's baby. Right. Woohoo! This is the greatest space between us. <laughs> No, just kidding. She knows what rhymes with everything. <laughs> you give her a word, she will make it rhyme. Okay. What rhymes with Holly? What rhymes with hippopotamus? Ah, oh, stump. So the next morning, Lon whipped us up some bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches, and we headed over to Joe's Van Dyke. You know what else doesn't happen on the space between? <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus. That's all rusted shut. Yeah. Just whatever you do, don't get frustrated. Take your time. Mm -hmm. the, tell him the anchor is out of though, like enough that he can move. Scott, the anchor is high enough and out of the water that you can move. <laughs> Clothes are coming off. Yes. 
Wait. Wait. Get the I, the I need. I need. Put your shirt down. <laughs> Mama, see the news. Oh my God, we Yeah. I, 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 All right. So we are at Yost. Yost Van, Van Dyke. Yo, Spandike, and this is the soggy dollar bar way over there because we tried to anchor yet Moorings fucked us once again because our anchor, our windlass doesn't work. I feel like it's actually kind of like the, the task. Like every day something has a break so we know that we're sober in the morning. Right. So we can start the rest of our day. So, because cause my object on this whole thing was I'm going to make a video against not against, just the comparison of the south red, uh, chartering the space between versus chartering the moorings yacht. So, it's making my story really easy to sell, is what I'm saying. Well, you didn't have a good experience buying a, le uh, um, what is it called? A moorings. Hand me down, a left. Uh, yeah, oh, hand me down, charter char cat, yeah. So we see how these bitches treat them. But I mean, the view. I ain't gonna lie. We're gonna have the space between in this view shortly because this, this is really the shit. Drink fixing is on hey. for the soggy dollar, ladies and gentlemen, right here at the Okay. Okay. You ready? You excited? I'm excited. Here, here we are. Here we are. We're sailing the space between bitches. Oh, we can't really say that on the TV though, but. Sure we can. We're not, we don't check the friendly, check kid friendly box. All right, there you go. We're about to have some fun. This is where it's at, right here. Uh, soggy dollar. Soggy now. dollar bar. Over now. Shit, there's no ice down. Yes, there is ice right there, isn't there? Ice, ice, ice baby. Ice, ice baby. And you changed from a rusty white shirt to a nice navy nice blue, blue shirt. Get it, Laura, get it. This way I don't get spaghetti sauce on the later. Mm-hmm. So for a little history on the soggy dollar bar, and its infamous painkiller. In the 1970s, one of their bartenders, by the name of Daphne Henderson, cocked this wonderful island drink using Pusser's rum. She called it the painkiller. Now fast forward a few years later, and a gentleman by the name of Charles Tobias, better known as the owner of Pusser's rum, took the tasty drink worldwide, making it infamous. Now the drink does live up to its name. It does kill all the pain. But unfortunately, it gives you a whole new one in the morning. They also make great conversation starters. Now the girls got talking about bomb bikinis, and I can't really play the audio here, but you can imagine where this is going when Randy chimes in. With a few drinks under our belt, we wandered the island, exploring some of the other bars that the island had to offer. This place is a great place to hang out. We stayed here for two days meeting new people and having a great time. Now the first night, we jumped around from White Bay over to Great Harbor, grabbed a mooring ball, and went to dinner at Foxy's. Here we are, Yost Van Dyke, Foxy's. And looky here, I'm gonna show my friends and neighbors something pretty freaking cool, looky right here. Oh, hey y'all, what is this? What is that? That's a Puerto Rican flag. Oh, good God. Ha, 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 ha. Foxy's is a whole lot of local fun and a must see when you visit the island. So we woke up the next morning, motored around from Great Harbor over to Diamond K. That's the home of Foxy's Taboo. Now we were there during the day, but there wasn't a lot taboo about it. I truly appreciate this clip. You'll have to know that all week Laura has been singing. She comes in like you a have to swing. Ball. You have to sing, you're on video. But a short hike around the bubbly pool, now that's definitely worth it. Or injuries resulting from the persons proceeding along the trail and visiting or entering the bubbly, the bubbly pool. pool. This is a disclaimer. So what I'm hearing is bubbles. Bad decisions. <laughs> Let's Bad make decisions. more of them. Path starts out all nice and paved and open like until somewhere along Hi, the way baby. we make a wrong Hi, turn. Mommy. A short trek Hi, through some brush and rocks and minus a flip flop later we arrive at the beautiful bubbly pool. You lose my husband!
He may or may not have stopped to pee. The bubbly pool, two thumbs up and definitely worth the hike. Easy, easy, okay. You okay, Bubba? Okay, okay, no. Look at the red bone in the line. Hi, oh, little goat! Now just across the anchorage from Foxy's Taboo is a little bar called Beeline where we ran into a sister boat of ours and had a great time until the sun set on us. Shot of yield, Van Dyke. George. See you later, Foxies. Okay. What ride is it? Yo, it's Van Dyke. Oh, not a damn thing. Not a damn thing, Dr. Seuss, not a damn thing. So after leaving Yost Van Dyke, we headed south. We wanted to go down and check out West End. Wow, that's gorgeous. But after making our way all the way up to the point and sightseeing about as much as we could, we decided this wasn't a stop for us. Besides, it was 8 in the morning up the coast and over to Ballast Bay. They say there's a distillery here. A lot of fun things have happened this trip. A lot of it that did not get filmed. Laura has been a blast. Comic relief for sure. And uh, she goes home tomorrow. So last full day with Laura on board. So I know what some of y'all are thinking. Y'all sure do move around a lot. Yeah, that's true. But with a crew like this, why not? So ashore we went to find a distillery. And find it, we did. The Cowwood Rum Distillery, just off Tortola's Cane Garden Bay, is a family-owned distillery that's believed to have been operating for more than 400 years, making it the oldest distillery in the Caribbean. If you get with a tea so rum is like one dollar per cup, you guys could try off for rum for a dollar if you get with a tea so rum. So you guys. I mean well we walked all the way here. I gotta have a taste. Let's see, one dollar cup. Here's ten. So that's one and if you guys it is not in the morning. Come on guys. At least ten dollars for you. Okay, yeah, but she's not there's two that can't partake. Yeah. Oh no, there's one that can't one can't. One can't partake. She's allergic to rum. What is your name, sir? Just give a shout out, say hi to the world, because you might be on YouTube one day. No, 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 you can't be on YouTube. Cops is looking for The cops are looking for you. Okay. No, we better not do that then. Okay, this is four years. Four years. This is the one that goes in the painkillers and the rum punches. All right. So we have to use our imagination because there's no painkiller or rum punch in it. No, she can't. I'm here for. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. I need painkiller to go with it. And after that fun little adventure, we decided to mosey on back to the boat via the beach. Oh no! And that's all she wrote. Then we thought it would be a good idea to introduce Chokin the chicken Aww. to some real live chickens. He's like, what the fuck? Why is that chicken wearing a tutu? Oh shit, he's gonna attack it, he's gonna attack it! <laughs> Cop bite! <laughs> ah! So after harassing the wildlife, we decided to go have lunch over at Sandy Key before heading back to Beef. Jack is halfway to Sandy Key! Are you there yet? Look at that pretty beach. We're on our way. So after the girls got some sun on their buns, we headed back over to Beef Island where we'd be dropping off Laura the next morning. We're gonna make mimosas or Bloody Marys or what the fuck we got kicking over here? Uh, we got Bloody Marys and mimosas. Coming right up. Really nice tan. All right, goodbye everybody. I had super duper tons of fun. Stanley Space Machines, where's that? We'll toast together. Okay. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Yay! New friends, 
for Yay. inviting. Love you. Love you. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. Let's talk about the Oh, what's on the background? Sexy friends and an airport. No! Point it out, Holly. Where's it at? No! I think this is the coolest ride I've ever had to an airport, though. Yeah. I mean, we got up at 7 and definitely started driving around 8. And, uh, and we were a little scared. The swells were really big, so we had to actually slow down. Even though it's a power cap, we powered through it. And uh, yeah, now I'm here at the airport. I'm just going to dingy in and, and fly back to the U.S. Ask for me because you guys have gas. Yes. I love you. I love you. Thank you for coming. Are you kidding me? Wait, you can give me two days airport? notice for anything like this. I'll come every time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I love you. love you. It's great to meet you. I know. <laughs> it's our family. Our fam. Our family. Our family. Our family. Our family. It's our family our annual trip. Uh, yeah. So screeching halt. All right. We Bye, my love. love. I love you. So much, Scott. Oh, thanks for you, being the best. Safe, will you? I will. Okay. Who's taking her? And thanks for being our captain. You rocked it. And you got up this morning. You Play rallied girl, to get girl. me. Yeah. <laughs> Good Here job. we are. At the airport. One more head dive into the bag. Uh, At least I gave you my backpack. Because that's how you roll. As we're leaving the docks from dropping off Flora, we saw these beauties floating off in the ocean. With the proximity to the airport, this is a great anchorage, but it's a little hard to get into. So after saying goodbye to Laura, we headed over to Spanish Town, Virgin Gorders Yacht Harbor. Now while the marina's docks are in fairly good shape, however the yacht club and restaurant, well, they're still about midway through repair, as is the yacht club bar. So with the boat settled in, we were off to explore the island. We met this great cabbie named Harold. He took us to a few bars, and then we explored the whole island. Riding up and down the hills in the BVIs is very similar to a Disney ride. Only no lap belts. When we got up to Hog Heaven, this is a great overlook that overlooks the bay to the northwest. Off in the distance, you can see a small island called Knackard. That's owned by Richard Branson from Virgin Airlines. But what a lot of people don't know is that he actually lives here on Mosquito Island. Knackard is just his resort. As it turns out, Virgin Gorda was my favorite of all the islands in the BVI. But everywhere we went was a blast because we brought good people with us. And a special shout out to Laura from La La Libra. You are anything but boring. Safe travels, girl. With this wonderful BVI trip in the bag, Holly and I have decided it's time to take the space between south. So as of 2021, we will be chartering in the Virgin Islands.